Well, hey, everybody. Welcome aboard. This is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Behind me and around me is my thousand year house. Now, it's not even a year old yet. It's 10 months old. And uh, maybe by the time I, it hits its one year birthday, all of this part will be done. This, uh, what you're looking at, will be a uh, ensuite. So way in the back is an office area, then my bathroom area where the stained glass windows are. And then this is <clears throat> a master bedroom, right? So uh, I'm all the way done with um, cutting out all of the blocking, all of the furring that I need uh, to be able to drywall and insulate to here. But to tie it all together, I need to finish this last little bit. And this last little bit, I've decided I want to cut out of logs myself and hewn some logs. So there'll be a, a log that'll come up along here and then across the top. I'm going to paint the outer opening, uh, you know, black so it'll look wrought iron. I'm going for a Spanish Mission vibe. So, um, you know, this, if I, um, I've got some logs in like the very corners of things, so it'll really tie it all together. I, I don't know if you can see there's a log there, there's a log there. So scattered throughout the construction is uh, hand-hewn timbers. And I decided uh, for the master bedroom, I want to do hand-hewn timbers here. So I'm going to get ready today to go out and cut the three logs that I need, a two post and then a top post. That'll tie that roof uh, uh, ties in. And then I could put in the blocking and any other additional, uh, you know, like this, get the ceiling fans done, get the insulation done that's here. And then I'll have a totally skinned out uh, in inside master on sui for my connex so to get that done i need to go get some logging done so let me go ahead and set up my sh my chainsaws uh i've neglected them for a little while i ordered a new device that's going to allow me to sharpen them automatically so let me set everything up and we'll take a look at the new device i'll do an unboxing and then we'll sharpen some saws see what we think well around me are a couple of chainsaws that i'm going to take over and to cut down some logs for the uh, end as well as uh, work on a house that uh, as if I don't have enough to do work on a house nearby uh, but listen I um, I've gotten tired of uh, of um, doing chainsaw sharpening by hand and I went ahead and I bought easy do I just picked one online uh, no brand loyalty it comes with a couple of you know all made in China couple of sharpening stones for it so of the right diameter for the chain you got to get the right diameter for your chain so let's see how easy this thing is I've never opened it up we'll open it up together see how fast it takes me to sharpen a chain get you over here where you're part of the action Well, there's my well-worn old version of it. I always manage to bend a file. <laughs> All right, the first thing I do is I index it. So I look for two links that are pointing the same way. That's where I start. All right, so let's, let's index one of these here. I index this one. 
little mark on it. package came with a bunch of different sizes. In addition to that, I went ahead and bought the size that's for my, uh, my chainsaw. I'll double check and look at it. Yep. And I know how to use a Dremel, so I should know how to do this. Comes with more uh, contact brushes. That's interesting. Very interesting. That's the kind of thing you don't see every day. All right. <clears throat> well, that was obvious. I didn't read any instructions on that. Comes with a gauge for marking your degrees. Looks like it just goes right on here. I don't even know as if I need the gauge. I was going to do it without it. We'll try it with the gauge first. How about that? Time keeping it in the uh, in the tooth. But I have a handshake, right? Oh, there's a different speeds here too. Alright, let's look at those three. See what we think. sharp. They look sharp. I think once I get this down it'll be pretty fast too.
Whew. All righty, well, two chainsaws ready for work. And let me tell you, that was pretty fast. Out of the box, to sharpen, to done. <clears throat> Let's see here. Maybe, maybe 10, 15 minutes, plus I was narrating, plus setting things up. All right, well, that was pretty fast, right? Maybe uh, 10, 15 minutes max, setting things up, narrating, doing the whole line, two sharpened, uh, and they are sharp. Listen, some of those teeth had obviously seen the ground. They were chipped. You could see them, and it got right through them. Now, what it didn't do is it didn't um, <clears throat> knock the uh, the high spot off the rake tooth, right, That is the guide for the height. So you'll have to go in there and manually file those off every, I don't know, third or fourth time, whatever you normally do. So all it did was teeth. That's all it did. Maybe there's a tool in there, but um, if you do take a look at it here and See, it has the, I don't know if you can see there, it has the angles already on it for both directions. So I don't have to even turn the saw, right, in a vise. I could just, you know, do it. And I didn't use a vise at all. I didn't need it because I wasn't pressing hard. Like it. <clears throat> and it was just any old thing. DeWalt should, uh, or uh, Dremel should make sure they have these if they don't. I don't, I didn't even look. I should look at my Dremel and see if I have it. But I'm going to keep this with my chainsaw stuff. All right, Steve, a thousand year homes. The day is done. Looky, got the logs in here. I will strap them down before I hit the road. And then I'll cut those up and use them on the, uh, the shipping container. So big day. I got a lot done. All right, like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye.